Okay, so you're in iTunes, and I'm going to show you how to um, convert AAC formatted songs to MP3. Um, I found the information online on lifewire.com, and it was real simple, but they didn't really discuss the whole process. So I'm going to show you how to convert the songs and these are all converted already they're all actually um, you could click on one let me see if I can find it here song info file so see it's an MPEG audio file uh, down here where it says MPEG-1 layer 3, that's MP3. So now all, the, all my songs are MP3 songs. I deleted the AAC iTunes format. So all you got to do is you go to iTunes, you go to Preferences here. And I, I clicked the uh, MP3 encoder. It was on, I think it default is AAC encoder. I chose, I chose MP3 encoder. And I think the default is high quality here in the middle. I chose the 192. So let's just say I wanted to convert this song. Or let's just say I want to, you hit the shift, you click on the top one, you hit shift, Let's say we'll click on number 15. It'll highlight all of them. Or you could do your whole, all your song purchases. So let's just say you got the one, the first one highlighted. You click on file and then you click convert. Create MP3 version. And what that's going to do is, once you do that, every one of these songs is going to it's going to double up there's going to be two of this song two of this song the mp3 version was underneath the original aac version so then what i did was now it doesn't tell you to do this in the the lifewire.com website i don't know i've read that you could create a file on your desktop and then transfer the songs from there well i found a way that worked for me it was pretty easy. What I did was I went back and I deleted all the AAC songs. It, it will, it'll be the top song. When you see two of the same song, it'll be the top song. You could always click on it. Just click on it. And then go to edit. Go to song info. Go to file. And it'll tell you which version it is. Because you're going to see two of every, every song. So I deleted all the AAC. Then I went, I used my old iPhone 7 Plus because I'm transferring these songs to a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So I deleted Apple Music from my old iPhone 7 Plus. Even deleted the iTunes app. And then I re-downloaded uh, from the App Store the iTunes app, but I didn't download any the library. So then I connected my um, iPhone, I synced it, just used the cable, synced my MacBook Pro to my iPhone 7 Plus, and um, I downloaded all the songs with MP3 format. Now I think you have you have to you have to delete the Apple Music app I, I believe on an old iPhone. I believe you even have to delete the iTunes app from your phone and start over again and um, so once I got all the mp3 songs got rid of the other ones hooked up my iPhone 7 plus synced it and I just went in and just synced it'll say up here kind of in this area when you sync your phone it'll say all songs I synced all the songs no videos and um, it worked flawlessly so then the, the, uh, the songs with the MP3 formatting wound up on my iPhone 7 Plus. 
I synced it to the S21 and um, because YouTube was the default app on the S21, uh, the Galaxy S21 Ultra, YouTube Music is the default app that Samsung put on their phones. Yeah, it won't, it won't give you, it'll say YouTube doesn't have permission. Um, so even though they're MP3 songs, I don't know what's, what's um, keeping YouTube from playing the music, but I deleted that app and I downloaded the Samsung Music app. And you're going to see pictures at the end of this video because I, I used my iPad to take pictures of this, this, the sequence between the two phones because I didn't have anything else to record the video with because I had the two phones synced up to show you what it's going to look like when you connect your old iPhone and a new Galaxy with the adapter, which this is the adapter. It's USB to USB-C, and that's what the, the Galaxy S21 is. I bought it at the Apple Store. It was 20 bucks. Worked flawlessly, and you just sync this up. You just connect this to your old iPhone charging cable, like so. And then this lets you connect. Sorry about this, but I'm not a professional. <laughs> so this is your I, I, old iPhone. This is for my iPhone 7 Plus. And this is for the Samsung Galaxy S21. Just make sure once you connect your two phones, don't move them. Put them on the counter. Let, them, let it transfer everything. Now, um, I transferred contacts and settings and uh, notes off my iPhone. I and pictures I did all that and it if if you click on the music it's it's not it's gonna mess everything up so just unclick music if you know that you have to convert the songs over from iTunes from Apple iTunes and convert them over to mp3 and you'll see pictures at the end of this video so if you have any questions let me know it was pretty easy like I said, I only have 224 songs. I don't have a thousand songs or whatever, but it worked pretty flawlessly, and I could play the music on my with the Samsung Music app, no problem. So right now the two phones are connected using the adapter using smart switch, smart switch on the uh, Samsung phone. It's connecting to transfer data. Turn your passcode off on your old iPhone if you're using an iPhone. Turn turn the passcode off. Leave the screen on. Um, set the screen saver for never so that it doesn't um, shut down. And then it's going to give you a drop down menu what you want to transfer. It's going to give you choices. So when I first bought the Samsung S21, I transferred all the data that I wanted my contacts, my notes, um, you know, the simple things. It's going to show you the percentage. Now, um, I don't have a whole heck of a. Okay, so here you go. This is what you're going to get. Sorry, I'm recording this with my iPad instead of my phone. So you only want to do audio. I already did images and all the other stuff when I set up the Samsung Galaxy S21. So now you just want to uncheck everything and leave audio checked. Okay, but that's at the end of the process after we deal with iTunes. Then this will be the last step, transferring over. So this is the screen on my S21. YouTube music, or yeah, YouTube music would not play the files. 
So I deleted YouTube music. I deleted the app and I downloaded, sorry, I'm holding an iPad here to record this. I downloaded Samsung music and all the music wound up there. Hang on. And it all plays. So there's the music. So it plays. Yep, there's your tracks, albums, playlists, artists. Wait, thanks for watching.